We are digging deeper tonight into a homicide that happened in Eau Claire last week. A search warrant is shedding new light on what happened. Our own Toby Moore joins us in studio with the report. Toby. Keith, Katie, we're learning more about how 56-year-old Michelle Jenkins died in her downtown Eau Claire home and the lengths the murderer apparently took to cover his tracks. We learned this weekend her brother, who was found dead, is the suspected killer. As we reported, Jenkins' body was found on August 29th at her home on Gilbert Avenue. A search warrant obtained by News 18 says that one of her renters was checking on her, found her laying in the bed unresponsive. Responding officers noted there was a fan near her blowing on the body. The air conditioning unit was set to the coldest setting on high, and windows were left open and a ceiling fan was on. She was covered in a sheet that appeared to have been put on after she died. An autopsy showed she was shot three times in the head and once in the chest from three to five feet away. Police noted the outside door was cracked and likely forced open, and a screen door was cut. Officers said it was large enough to fit a gloved hand through it. Keith Katie, the, the gun used to murder Jenkins was not found at the scene, but a bullet fragment was found next to the bed. Okay, thanks, Toby. As we reported, police were searching for her brother, Scott Jenkins. After Winona police pulled him over in Minnesota Saturday, they found he had died by suicide. Investigators have not given a possible motive for the murder.